Hi, it's Mandy. Today we're doing another video for how to start budgeting with low income. Today's topic is plan ahead. If this interests you, come along and let's get started. Let's first say hello to Mr. Cooney, who is sitting here beside of me, being pestrous. It's cold this morning, so that he wants to be here with Mommy. <laughs> what do I mean by plan ahead? When you're low income, every dime counts, so it can get a little um, discouraging when you don't have enough money to start saving every paycheck and it's just as a constant cycle but did you know there's a way to plan ahead depending on how you get paid whether it's bi-weekly or weekly you may have an opportunity to have extra pay to put into your savings for that time well, what do you mean by this I'll show you. So since we're preparing for 2023, let's look at the calendar. This, these calendars I was able to print off from calendarlabs.com. I'll leave it down below. It's free. You can uh, you just type in, you just type in a yearly of the start month and the year that you want and it prints it out. Let's first look at bi-weekly. Bi-weekly you automatically think you get paid, paid twice a month. But, sorry this is that was weekly, but did you realize that there's months in the year that you actually get paid three times? Here I'm showing this uh, with you Everything of regular uh, payday is in red. So all of these is your normal two weeks paycheck. But if you notice, in March you have an extra payday and in September you have an extra payday. How should you handle it when you have an extra payday? I would, uh, somebody emailed me, thank you for this idea, she stated to treat these as your normal regular paychecks and let these two cover all your bills for that month and let this paycheck, the amount that you normally would put towards bills and let that go to either extra payment to debt, start extra putting money into savings. And I will show you an example of this in my budget with me because December is my magical month for me. So be sure to check those out when they come for next month. So we know that when we're bi weekly, if your page, first page is on the 6th, of January that in March and September we have an extra payday so there's a lot of the tunnel so if we can make it through these three months at the end of the month we'll have extra income to where we're able to put towards the extra savings and debt and still cover you know our expenses well what about weekly well weekly you also will have the magical months that you have a, uh, an extra pay and those will be in March, June, September and December. So again what the same concept let these four handle all of your bills and then this extra paycheck take that extra amount and put it towards savings or debt. So 
with weekly, you do have a lot of the every three months you have an extra payday where you're able to pay. Um, put where you're able to put into extra debt. Okay, so now we know that depending on how we get paid, we do have a lot of the tunnel. We may struggle the first couple of months of the new year, but we know in March we have extra income coming in. So what I would recommend is go download this. You can download it and use it that way, or you can print it off. If you don't have access to a printer, you can take it to your local library and print it. Um, ours is 25 cents when you print something from the internet. So there's that, there's that option. If you don't have access to a printer. And set down with two colors. You can use color pencils, markers, highlighters, whatever you have. And just sit down and mark your regular paydays first. And when you see that you have an extra payday, highlight that or color that a different color. I even went ahead and boxed it in so that I, it's easier for me to see. And make a little color code up here, regular paycheck bonus, so that you can see that yes, we may struggle for a little bit, but there's a lot at the end of the tunnel. So now let's take a look to see how we can look at a monthly view to see which paycheck should pay which bill. Using the counterlabs.com, you could select the month select the year and it will generate the free calendar for you and you can print it off it will actually you also can print out the like the holidays here if you wish and it'll, it'll show up like that if you wish that's how it shows here on mine okay what i first do is write down my paychecks for the month so december is my magical month so i have Get paid on the 2nd, 16th, and the 30th. Second step, write down on the day it's due your bills. So, for example, in the first, I have the water bill, the 11th, car, ins car insurance, the 13th, my cell phone bill, electric, Amazon Prime, YouTube, garbage bill. You get the idea, okay? Now, this part, I've seen on the Budget Mom, she does this. You can watch her videos to see her example. Is a sign, a color for each payday. So for this one, I know the ideal is from everything from the 2nd to the 15th should come out of this the second payday uh, those what I've done is took the green highlighter and highlighted all the bills that I should be paying with this first paycheck water bills reason why it's in a different color is because I would have paid this by my last paycheck in November so it's a different color at, on, when I get paid on the 16th, everything in this color gets paid with this check. So that means all my bills is covered for the month of December. Now there might be a few bills here that I need to pay for the first week of this January. Uh, which is the water bill and the Google domain. Which those is about thirty six, thirty seven dollars. So it still, it still gives me a leeway where I'm able to put extras into my savings and my sinking funds. Because so, normally, if you see my other budget with me, I'll pop one up right here. You'll see that normally I pay around four hundred to five hundred dollars a month towards bills, and the rest is my expenses, sinking funds, and savings. So if I only are, am paying $30, 30 for, we'll say 40 for the first couple weeks bills, 
that means if I pay, normally pay 400 360 of that money is now able to go into savings. And so you can sit down and break that in to how you want to use that 360. Or you can pay, you could do half. You can pay half of it to debt, half of it to your savings. Or you can put all of it to debt. Or you can put 300 into debt, 160 into savings. It's whatever you think is best for your situation and what your goals are for two thousand for this year and for 2023. Keep in mind those goals that you're wanting to do. I will be doing a video, I don't know if it be in this month or be in December of my 2023 goals. So be sure to look out for that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you some ideas of how to be prepared and how to see the light at the end of the tunnel to help you prepare for your budgeting journey. So the next, so we have went through expenses. We have set up some categories, thought of some extra categories we may need, and we made a plan. So what's left is setting a budget. Oh, the next uh the end of the series will be the budgeting with me, We're setting up our paychecks to budget. And that will be next Monday's video. So be sure that you are subscribed and ring that bell in order to be able to watch that last series, video series. And I hope you enjoyed this series. And I hope this gave you some inspiration to where you're able to sit down and start budgeting. If you're new here, please take a look around. If you like what you see, hey, subscribe. And come part of my budgeting family here. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for making uh, being here always and come and share my journey with me. Remember, every dime counts. And if you like to see more budgeting videos or some more videos from the series, check out these videos now. Every dime counts. Have a great one. Bye.